Coincidint amb el Mobile World Congress celebrat a Barcelona, centrem la nostra mirada en un dels milers de visitants. Una de les màximes responsables de la Fundació Internacional Telecentre URG, a qui acompanyem mentre descobreix el projecte que fa que la ciutat comtal sigui oficialment capital mundial del mòbil. Volem conèixer la feina dels telecentres a nivell mundial. I'm Tess Kamba. I am the director for operations of telecentre.org foundation, which is... Uh a non-profit uh, organi international organization that's currently based in the Philippines. And the foundation is managing the second phase of uh, the global program called telecenter.org, which was uh, started in Canada by the International Development Research Center in 2010. So the second phase is until 2015. Mm -hmm. So the foundation is based in the Philippines, but this is a global organization. ¿Qué es Telecentra ORG? This is a network of networks. So we have regional networks uh, that are located in uh, Europe, which is the Telecenter Europe, in Latin America, which is the Latin American Telecenter Network, uh, in Africa, the Net Africa, they call themselves the Net Africa. Now Asia Pacific has an Asia Pacific Telecenter Network, and then Middle East and North Africa, and the sixth one is Eurasia, Eurasia Telecenter, Telecenter Network. And the regional Telecenter Network has among its members national Telecenter Networks. So this, uh, this, is how, this is how it works. And with the national Telecenter Networks, there are lots of Telecenters uh, belonging to these national Telecenter Networks. Que uneix aquests centres tan distants i diferents? Yeah, there are similarities and differences, but uh, we all work. We all work towards uh, bringing the benefits of ICT to the rural areas of uh, of uh, the country. So our mission is more or less the same, and that is uh, uh, bringing ICT benefits, the ones that are currently being enjoyed in the urban areas, the connected areas, to people who are not uh, connected. La dona com a dinamitzadora. What we, what we actually gave last year was uh, the first ever telecenter uh, a recognition for telecenter women operators. This is actually part of uh, an initiative called Telecenter Women Digital Literacy Campaign, which is a joint initiative of telecenter.org and the International Telecommunications Union. Okay. Last year, in April 2011, uh, to be exact, during the third global forum, which was held in Chile, where, uh, Chile uh, Santiago, Chile, we launched the Telecenter Women Digital Literacy Campaign, which aims to train one million uh, women especially rural rural women and and give them digital uh, literacy through our telecenter networks and uh, telecenter partners and this was uh, a joint initiative of the foundation together with the international telecommunications union and as part of the campaign we we recognized we gave recognition to outstanding telecenter women managers who are responsible for bringing uh, the services of the telecenter to the community, not just to the women. Mm -hmm. And so we had a search uh, last year, and uh, well, and, and it concluded late uh, towards the end of that year with uh, the best, uh, the most outstanding uh, 100 uh, telecenter women managers. And I think one of your telecenter operators here uh, received the award. So congratulations to her. So along with 99 others from all over the world. Uh, so they have been recognized for their efforts uh, 
uh, for the services that they have provided to through the telecenter. We are going to continue um, giving out uh, recognition and during the fourth uh, global forum next year, which hopefully will be held here, I think here in, in uh, definitely it's going to be in Europe because the, the other forums were already held in Africa, in Asia, and last year it was in Latin America. So the fourth one has to be in another continent. So it, 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 it is going to be most likely here in Europe. And during that time, we will also give uh, recognition to the, the most outstanding telecenter, the most outstanding knowledge worker in telecenters, and even most outstanding content uh, and services of the telecenter. ¿Qué han de oferir los telecentres? I think um, telecenters have to be very innovative. Uh, they have to, the important thing is they have to, to meet the needs of uh, the community. They have to be able to provide the services that are needed by the community. And they have to be very sensitive about what the community needs. And then they become very relevant to the community if they are able to do that. So it actually depends uh, from community to community because each one would have different needs. For instance, well, in the Philippines, one telecenter can focus on uh, educating the youth or providing uh, ICT-based education for out-of-school youth. But the other one, uh, which is located in uh, an island, uh, can prioritize health services because that island is not accessible to hospitals. So it really, de the service that they, they provide really depends on the, the needs of the community.